Why do people care if something in media is real or fake? News, I understand, but what about movies and TV shows and comic Comic books are obviously just paper. It was the whole thing with, like, the great train robbery and the train goer towards people and the, like, they're all all trying to dodge all the way because it's the first time they saw that. I imagine kids right now with iPhones watching this right now are having the same reaction. We're going to tie into this, uh, the whole Power Rangers being animated thing. So there's this whole thing in the 2000s. Um, we don't want Disney to go animated. It has to go all the way back to, like, origins of the film. It's weird. They have that, even for, like, George Millier and uh, Hugo. There's just, like, a whole bunch of other films, like, has special effects. George Lucas said that a special effect is nothing without a story. Millier and, uh, Regal Duke is new, but that Hugo was made by Mark Scorsese, who was a associate of George Lucas. Orson Welles made F for Fake, about a, a, a fiction about counterfeiter. I, I forget if it was like a real person or not, like it was a, all that stuff. Um, Stanley Kubrick and the was moon landing fake was a, was it a film of the actual moon or whatever is COVID real is the Illuminati real is 9-11 real is Pearl Harbor real is the vaccine real a lot of stuff in the 2020s however let's get back to the point Power Rangers is no longer anything. Oh, you have the comics, you have you have the video games. The video games itself have like animation in them, high quality, but still have whatever the thing. It's a very interesting transition to like live action animated, because like once you were like this whole typecasting of the original cast and like how they were like brought down by like. Him Saban and those kind of figures in Hollywood. And, uh, for like, they didn't want to pay them, like, syndication money or whatever it was. Even though it was never in syndication, so I guess they couldn't really do that. They don't get paid now for Netflix, etc. Even though, like, it's not on anything anyway. Even though, like, it's been on TV. Almost as long as Simpsons has. And stopped. So yeah, they're... I don't like... See them in real life. I don't know how I feel about Tui Trang being... Or Trini Kwan still being used as a character. Tui Trang died a horrible death. Very young. She doesn't get... Even if she got, like, the money for it, like, you can't replace what she did. They don't. They might as well just rename the character or just never reincarnate incarnation of it. We never captured the times. It feels like the end of the world. Present us to going, took us out to going. Shard Factory has eclipsed. Super Sentai has eclipsed Power Rangers in terms of like accessible media you can find in the US for Japanese superheroes. Shatoru Ishinomori and the 2000 Cyber 009 homage to him is finally in the US fully adapted. Easy access on free TV, Pluto TV. We can see Shotaro Ishimori as a character. I probably shouldn't have said that, but it's a spoiling thing. But like, you can see him as a character in the show. I 
like before, like people were drawing hieroglyphics. That was a real person. They would create statues. That's not the real person. You create a clone of people now. Is that the real person? An android that looks like one. And we have deep fakes now. So far, that hasn't been one of the parameters yet, but like, they've, like there's official deep fakes by Lucas Arts, and like they recently hired someone to do a deep fake to prove one of their films, or TV shows, or something, or The Mandalorian. I'm not sure. And uh, also, we don't care about that anymore. There's other stuff we should worry about instead of that, but like that can be an issue later on. Our Steve Fix, and I do find it very cool how we can show, like, what if another person was in a role? It was fake, and now we, you don't give the rights to the person. We actually, when you see them in the role. Luckily, with the economic boom, the labor revolution, where people get paid for what they do. Their rights and likenesses. That's pretty much all I have to say about Power Rangers, the anime series, animation, video games, and uh, wherever like the anime series would have been alright, because like we have nothing now, and we're going to be fake, and what's the difference between video game and animation, etc. I think like Super Legends was a thing at the time too, if I was like not so good, but like. Could have done good, better than the TV show. Could have done like something like Star Trek: The Anime Series, where you did a whole bunch of scenarios that you couldn't do in the TV show because of it'd be easier on a animation budget than on a live action budget. You know, more like Japanese superhero Tokusatsu was like, where you have a set in Japan, or you have a you know that's not the video games, and like oh you have these. Costumes that are created by with the creative of people. Those are people you're associated with Power Rangers, not computer graphics. Up yet. There's computer graphics now. And there's some animation with how they do computer graphics. And they've done stuff like Wild Force Forever Red, where like, they've done special effects and they're good, jetting, etc. This is capture the feel of it, right? I bet you can't do it now because there's no show. And you know, we're in the pandemic, so like you can't film in New Zealand. So they move it back to California or something big like that. The movie's coming. We'll see if there's a warmer re reaction to the last few films. So, worth all subscribe.